Well, hi there. Previously, we discussed interface, which is what a cell must do to prepare to divide. But we haven't yet discussed how a cell divides. There are really two reasons that a cell might divide. First would be to make a copy of itself. This process is called mitosis. Second would be to make a cell with half as many chromosomes as the original cell in order to perform sexual reproduction. This process is called meiosis. Both mitosis and meiosis, for me, always seem like just a bunch of drawings that I had to memorize and make over and over again in every biology class I ever took. I wish I'd just understood the big picture because it's really very simple. You will probably be able to predict what the drawings for most of these steps will look like if you have just a very simple understanding of the big picture here. In this video, we are going to cover the big picture for mitosis. In our next video, we'll cover the big picture for meiosis. Mitosis, again, is how cells make identical copies of themselves. This means that every chromosome that they have must end up in both cells that are produced by mitosis. And the whole thing is run by microtubules, and they're idiots. So it can't be that complicated. All that happens is that the chromosomes, which are all stuck to an identical copy of themselves after interface, are lined up in a single file line and then pulled apart so one of the copies of each chromosome ends up on one side of the cell and the other ends up on the other side of the cell before the cell divides. That's it. The microtubules line up the chromosomes and then pull them apart. The end. That's all that's going on. The chromosomes line up on something called the metaphase plate. This has always helped me remember that the stage at which they line up is called metaphase. So, at metaphase, the chromosomes are all lined up waiting to be pulled apart, but not pulled apart just yet. Given that this lining the chromosomes up and pulling them apart is a continuous process, you could make up a million names for steps as it gets closer and closer to being lined up and then as it gets pulled apart more and more and more. But generally, we break the whole thing down into four steps that can be remembered using the acronym PMAT, like what you might need if you just got a puppy. P-M-A-T. This stands for prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Again, the chromosomes are lined up at metaphase. So for everything before metaphase, the chromosomes are getting lined up, but they aren't lined up just yet. The two copies are also still stuck to one another because they haven't been pulled apart yet. After metaphase, they are either a little bit pulled apart or all the way pulled apart in that order. So prophase, they are getting lined up, but aren't lined up just yet. Metaphase, they are lined up. Anaphase, they are getting pulled apart. Telophase, they're all the way apart. And once they're all the way pulled apart, there's nothing left for the cell to do but divide by a process called cytokinesis. And that's it. You have two identical cells, and mitosis is over. And now you know. If you learned something, please let us know in the comments. Also, please feel free to ask questions and help other people with their questions. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you'd like to learn more in the future. And we hope to see you real soon.